Vicki with Beer Poma. I'm here in Swiss Town, USA, New Glarus, Wisconsin, for the Beer, Bacon, and Cheese Festival. So grab yourself a pint. Come on, let's go. We're here today with Rhinelander Brewing. Uh, tell me about Rhinelander. How long have you guys been brewing? Well, our brewery in Monroe, Wisconsin, makes Rhinelander. They've been brewing here since 1845. We're actually the second oldest uh, brewery. Oh, really? Yep, second oldest brewery. And still, the Rhinelander's been made. It used to be made in Rhineland, Wisconsin. They could have a brewery, I think, in 69 or 70. And then it got kind of bounced around and for different people. And we bought the label to that. So we make Rhineland beer out of Monroe, Wisconsin. Okay. And we brought back little shorties, little bombers. So, and actually, Rhineland Brewery was the first brewery to come out with beer in a short bottle. That's kind of like their claim to fame. Miller, but it was these guys. Oh, that's so yeah. cool. So when you mention Ryan Lander, everybody, hey, it's the shorties, and there's some little tiny little seven ounce bottles. Oh, that's such an yeah. interesting beer history. <laughs> yeah. So, and our brewery, actually, like I said, it's been around, it's the second oldest brewery out of the Yingling Brewery in uh, Pennsylvania. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, that's so neat. So, yeah, we actually do a brewery more of a different state with the state. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. So, yeah, we're here today showing off Ryan Lander, Huber Bach, and some other new craft beers we made. I have got the chocolate brown bunny stout. Um, since we're at the beer bacon cheese festival, I gotta say I think this would go great with like a chocolate dessert. Maybe. Exactly, exactly. Like, like a chocolate bar. Yes. Or anything chocolate. It's more of a burnt chocolate. It's made with chill uh, Okay. So it gives it more of a burnt chocolate. I can definitely yeah. taste that. Like a moist chocolate cake would be yes. great. Or chocolate covered bacon. See you at the walk. All right, here's the Minnesota. Thank you. Hey, we're at the Maple Leaf uh, Cheese and Chocolate House in New Glarus, Wisconsin, and I decided to try their chocolate made with the New Glarus Belgian Red Fruit Tart. Um, this beer is one of my favorites. It's no secret, that's for sure. But with the chocolate. It brings out like this extra sweet, slight cherry hint behind the chocolate, and it's great. And I can tell you, if you do get a chance to stop in the area, this place has not only an excellent selection of cheese, but all kinds of Swiss and European candies and great homemade chocolates. Are you good? Hey, we're with Mob Craft Brewing. Uh, tell us a little bit about where Mob Craft is in Wisconsin. Mob Craft is on the east side of Madison, Stoughton Road area. Um, just, uh, you know, not too far away from the park. Familiar with the area. A little bit, yeah. I, I love what this area is doing, and I especially love the Beer Bacon Cheese Festival. So, uh, tell me, do you personally like sour beers? I do. I love them. It's, it's a style that's really popular on the east coast right now. Um, you know, it's, there's not too many of them around here. They're doing pretty well. So. I agree. I agree. And I think it goes great with just about any kind of meat or cheese, really. And uh, this one is called Rat Shake Crazy. It's a oak aged, um, oak barrel aged sour uh, nut brown ale, right? Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot to say in a mouthful, but let me tell you, it is a great mouthful. I love sours, and this is an excellent sample of one. Yeah, it's an oak barrel aged with lactobacillus bacteria, so it gives it a nice tart, almost kind of fruity flavor to it. You still get a lot of that coffee on the back end, though. And I gotta say, that shit crazy, that's a great name. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Glarus Dancing Man Wheat. This is a great seasonal beer, so make sure that you get yours while you can. It's made uh, with Wisconsin wheat that they malt themselves. This is great. You can actually taste like the cinnamon feel behind it. And you know what? I think this is the beer I want to drink tonight at the bonfire. It's going to be perfect. Wisconsin has something that I could not wait to try today. 
It's a black truffle cheese. And let me tell you, this cheese is kind of smoky, yet really, really melts in your mouth, and it's very creamy. This would be perfect with some eggs and bacon in the morning with a smoke porter. All right, give it another try. Hey guys, I'm here at Potosi Brewing. They're down on the border of Wisconsin and Iowa. And I have here a steamboat chanty. And let me tell you, this is great. There's a crisp lemoniness that comes through. And you were telling me you use 100% uh, lemon juice for the beer, right? 100% lemon juice, pure cane sugar, and a classic golden ale. Oh, this is excellent, you guys. I would definitely take this canoeing, kayaking, hiking, anything this summer. And what is your favorite thing to pair this beer with? <laughs> Just about anything, right? It goes with anything. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Okay. So I got a little cup of baked potato chowder with bacon bits. Mm. I want this every time I'm sick from now on, okay? Buttergassic cheese out of the Edelweiss cream here out of Monticello, Wisconsin. This cheese is so smooth and buttery, just like the name. You would love it. Uh, the creamer recommends you put it over vegetables. I think you can make a great chicken cordon bleu using this. I've had a wonderful time today at the Nuclear's Beer, Bacon, and Cheese Fest, and I really hope that you guys come out next year for this. It's a beautiful town, and it's been a beautiful day, and I've had so much great beer, bacon products, cheese products, meat products in general. And let me tell you, it's been a great day, and I'm going to go have some more fun and beer, bacon, and cheese with my new friends.